Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Pastor Jay North here with the OUC Attic, and this week's lesson is entitled The Evidence. Listen, this is one of the most powerful lessons that we have had up to this date. Uh, my man, Pastor Kevin, he's going to break it down. You do not want to miss this. So, Pastor Kevin, take it away. On April 2019, Avengers Endgame, the fourth movie in the Avengers series, broke box office records by becoming the highest grossing movie of all time. I'm a huge Marvel fan, so I was super excited to see this when it came out. And if you had seen it, I know you will agree with me when I say that the last few moments of Avengers Endgame are some of the best scenes movie scenes of like all time. Captain America, Thor, and Iron Man try to fight off Thanos one and for all. They get beaten and bruised. Captain America is the last man standing as he valiantly faces off Thanos. And as we are watching this unfold for the first time, we know it's not going to end well for Captain America and also humanity as a whole. Because in the distance, Thanos' armies are assembling, completely dwarfing any military power that the Avengers or the humans can come up with. All hope seems lost. But the story doesn't end there. This feeling of hopelessness reminds us of the prophecy given to the prophet Isaiah by God during a dark time in Israel's history. The children of Israel felt beaten down and bruised. They had been fighting their enemies for so many years. They endured so much trauma and pain that they started to question their identity uh, as children of God, but also their relationship with God. They're wondering if God was really going to keep his promises. But it is during this time, approximately 200 years before the exile, that God gave them a prophecy. Here's how it goes. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. All hope seemed lost. But all hope was not actually lost. Now, let's get back to the story. Captain America hears a message. It's from his friend who goes by the name Falcon, who has been resurrected back into life. Then he turns around and he sees his friend T'Challa, aka Black Panther, come through the portal with Suri and Okoye. Then you'll remember this scene. More and more portals open with armies of resurrected Avengers walking through them to face Thanos and save the universe. You see, the, the movie starts with hope realized, and the movie ends with hope fulfilled. Just like the Bible, the, the, the whole story of, of the gospel begins with hope realized in the form of a prophecy about a soon coming Messiah who's going to crush Satan's heel. And then it ends with hope fulfilled, with the risen Messiah, with the risen Jesus in the new Jerusalem, in the new kingdom. Friends, we are living in a dark time right now with COVID-19, with the political unrest that's going on here in America, but also in other parts of the world, with the rising levels of anxiousness and uncertainty. It really seems like hope is dimming away. But I do want to remind you, my friends, as followers of Jesus, we have something that even the children of Israel back in the day, 200 years before the exile, did not have proof evidence of the messiah who has already come evidence of a messiah who came and died and rose again evidence of a messiah who won this victory once and for all the gospels the bible contain evidences and promises of this messiah this jesus who has saved the universe was saved humanity and that through him, through faith in him, day by day, walking daily, moment by moment, holding on to him and his promises, we can also endure whatever comes our way, even, even this pandemic. The end game is already behind us. And now it's simply the beginning of the end. Let's hold on. 
Pastor Kevin, man, that was phenomenal. I love the discussion questions. Listen, I'm a Marvel fan as well. Endgame was, I think it was epic. Um, so many, so many object lessons we can learn from that particular movie. Um, but you brought it home. And yes, we do have the evidence. We have proof um, that Jesus not only came, but that he is coming again and we have hope. So listen, young people, don't lose hope. Don't lose heart. All right. Listen, this is Pastor Jay, the OUC addict. Listen, like and subscribe. Peace.